Hi everyone, Jeremy here from VVAX Metrotech Canada. Today we're going to talk about SONs. Uh, SONs are something that uh, sometimes get overlooked as well as a useful tool for locating things that we can't typically connect to to do a locate. So what the SOND is, and I'll hold one up here, what the SOND is is basically a tool that emits its own signal. We put a battery inside there, pop your battery in, and it will turn on. A uh, good thing to do is to check it, turn your receiver on to whatever frequency the SOND is. This happens to be 33. So we will turn on 33 or 32.8, check to make sure the SOND is working. And we put this on the end of a fish tape. Um, some people can tape them to things. Uh, you know, we caution against that because you can, you know, obviously the tape can rip and come off. Uh, but what you do is you would then put this into stuff like ductwork or a sewer and push it along and be able to locate that sewer as you're pushing this out. And it's something, you know, plastic pipe, something that you typically aren't able to obviously connect to and do a locate with. So that's what a SON does. Uh, now we have our SONs that we, again, can put on the end of a fish tape like these. Um, or you have a camera that you can put that has a SON into it. Um, and that will emit its own signal as well. So we've got a couple different styles. This happens to be our D38 sond, signifies 38 millimeter. D64 sond, um, which again, the larger the sond, the more powerful it's gonna be. So D64, again, this is a 33K or 32.8 sond. So this will emit that signal from it and be a little bit stronger than this one and go a little bit deeper um, than your smaller sond. So this here is our D23 sound. It actually transmits 512 hertz. Um, and so it's good for iron pipes that normally absorb all of our sound signal. This helps penetrate through that and get out um, to the surface. The next one that we have here is a D18 sound. And this is just a nice little small package of a sound. Um, this allows us to go into smaller pipes, get through some of those tighter bends. Um, you can couple them sometimes with a uh, flexible coupler on the end of it to help get through some of the tighter bends uh, in some situations. Again, a 33 kilohertz sond. Now you can get uh, some of these sonds in different frequencies. The D38 sond and D64 sond uh, do come in a, a few different frequencies. 512, unfortunately not. The, fi the only 512 one is the D23 sond. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to turn one of these on and show you with our, it'll be a VLOC 3 series receiver. This one will be a VLOC 3 Pro. Uh, it'll be the same thing for your VLOC 3 cam or any of the VLOC 3 line that can locate SONs, which they all can. Um, I'm going to show you the SON screen and how simple it is with our VLOC 3, how to actually locate a SON. So let's turn that on and get going. Okay, so now I have my VLOC 3 Pro. I'm in my SON screen. Basically, I get there switching screens by pushing and holding the mode button. So I'm in my SON mode right now. And you can see as soon as I turn it on, because I am uh, relatively close to it, even if you're quite far away, if it's not too deep, um, what will happen is the arrow will come up immediately showing you which direction to walk. Now, it does not matter which way I am standing. Um, that arrow, I'm turning around in a circle now, and that arrow will continue to spin around in 360 degrees just to show us exactly which way our sond is. Now, hiding beneath that, because I am relatively close to the sond, you can just barely make out the ghost signal, which is just below our arrow. And we'll be able to see that a little bit later as we carry on. So I'm going to start to walk in the direction that it's telling me to go. So I'm heading forwards. And there's that ghost signal that I spoke about. So you can see that there. Often this fools people uh, when using a traditional locate set, uh, which again, you would hold traditionally sideways to do the locate. We can now hold this one honestly in any orientation, but that ghost signal trips people up sometimes because we think that that is our actual son signal sometimes when I'm probably right now about a foot, foot and a half away from my actual sound. So I'm gonna carry on forward. And what we see when we come over top of the sond is the red and green. Um, so that is our actual sond. If I carry on forward even farther, there's that other ghost on the other side. So I can back up again, and you'll notice my gain is way down, and I don't even have my bars up. I can scale this up to have that, but it doesn't even matter. I don't even need to have them on. 
Um, so I just typically leave them down or, or wherever it is um, because you don't need to have that. The, the locator will figure it out for you. So again, if I turn this in any orientation or walk off to the side, it's just going to tell me to move back and walk back over top of that sond. So there's our sond. It also gives us a depth in the uh, top corner there. So one foot six is the depth. And I'd say, yeah, that's pretty darn close to where we are. So I know I'm directly over top of the sond and whatever I'm trying to locate or find is right there beneath me. So in conclusion, that's how we locate a sond. It's quite simple now with this VLOC3 series of locator. Again, any of the VLOC3 series that have the sond function on them will locate it the same way. The screen will look exactly the same and will function exactly the same. So whether you're locating a sond on a camera head or an external sond like one of these that I'm using, um, they all function the same way. Just make sure you're tuned into the right frequency on your actual locator. Now one thing I want to mention about these DAT sons, and I get a lot of questions on these, is which orientation the batteries go into the cup. So they are our little watch batteries, okay, and that's how we keep the size small to keep it nice and compact. So these watch batteries, the open end of it, or the negative end on there, is what's going to go down in your cup you can see that. So down towards the threaded end is where we're going to put the negative end of the battery or the, I call it the open end of the battery. So that's going to go down and then as soon as I thread this in, it's going to be turned on. So you just want to make sure with these batteries or any of the other sons that you take the battery out otherwise your battery is going to be dead. Another common problem, people think, oh my son doesn't work. Well, you didn't you know, take it apart. Even if you just unscrew it like this, the battery can remain connected. So it's best to have a little package where you're going to open it up, take the batteries out and store them separately. Have a little box or something, a little toolbox that you're going to keep this stuff in. Store the batteries separately. Make sure, again, these are actually better in a foam case or something where they're not going to be touching each other because again, if they're touching each other, they could still be operating and you're going to drain the batteries. These batteries are readily available at most hardware stores, um, so you can pick these up there. They shouldn't be hard for you to find. Um, just keep a set so that you can reference the number that's on them. But again, that's about SONs. That's how easy it is to do a SON locate with our VLOC3 series. Please reach out to any of your, your local distributors. Search on our website, get a hold of us, and we'll put you in touch with your local distributor if you'd like more information on that. And again, please like, share, tag, and follow, and subscribe to this channel. And please comment on this and let me know any other videos that you'd like. This video, in fact, was from a comment from a subscriber. So thank you for that, and there's your video on locating songs. Take care. Have a great day.